Rasmus away. Ah! Hello, everybody. Another film scene. Welcome. Today, I have learned the magic. I can fly. No, that's uh, that's a creative thing. But I've tried to do some like something nearly like magic in Minecraft, and I got, as you can see here in my um, hotbar, seven different kinds of magic: a firebolt, fire leap. Regen, um, with the mist, meteor, ice shield, and doom. Well, that's a bad name for it, but um, couldn't really think. Get another, a better one. But I'm actually gonna show you these different, um, these different magics. Uh, most of them actually have to do with fireballs, like gas balls, <laughs> and that's a. Uh, I love gas balls. So they're so cool because they're. Here. Yeah, they're just cool. So, to demonstrate my awesome powers, I got two dummies here. Re Ma Magnus and Ribby. Say hello, guys. Yeah, they really want to die. They volunteered. So, let me now show you Firebolt. It costs three mana, as you can probably see it on the right. I got a scoreboard called Mana. I got 100 mana. It can't go uh, over that point. Um, so, as you can see now, I lost 3 mana, it goes really slowly up, but bam, now I'm at 100, and then it stops again. But here I got a firebolt, so now I can just look, it's a bit glitchy, but that's not my, uh, my magic's fault, that's the game, but it doesn't really matter, that actually allows me to see what's behind it. So let's just do that, and then fire a few times on them. Try to see if I can kill one of those stupid guys. <laughs> Die! Oh. oh, it's inside me. Oh, Rebby's already down. But Mr. Plux is... Oh, there he goes. Well, <laughs> let me just clean up a little bit. And the fire's away. Oh, gone. Well, that's just a symbol here. You can just look and then you maybe can figure it out if I just do... There you go. Now you can maybe figure that how it works. But, um... So, that's Firebolt, 3 mana, so you can actually just shoot, and it's really cool. Um, so let's show Fire Leap. Um, this isn't intended for a fight. Um, this is more for getting around areas. Let me actually go in game mode. Survival. So, I'm in survival. I got this. Now I'm gonna take a fly. Bye! And I survived. Well, this is pretty cool. It takes seven mana. So what it actually does is it's um, it's of course if we just look like this. Woo! <laughs> it's so funny, just flying. And um, it works with fireballs too. Um, that explodes below you, but I got a resistant effect for three seconds. That uh, secures that I'm not gonna lose any health from it and. Um, and I'm gonna land safely. So I'm trying to leap this mountain, but when I try to leap it, I, I don't get high enough. Hmm, how can I do that? Well, it works with fireballs, so you can actually do a little trick by getting some more fireballs. So we got one here. That's actually gonna increase it if I don't make it, uh, if I don't hit it. So if I now use it. Ah, nearly there. Damn it. Also give me a bit of um, fire resistance just to make sure that I'm not gonna die from it. So let's get one more of these and give it a try. No, I used to get higher, but let's then use two more. So one, like that. Two, like that. Now I got two, there's two of these fireballs right there. So if we just do this. Oh, that's maybe a little bit too high and my resistance is gone. Well, <laughs> well, um, bad demonstration. I knew that would be it too much. Let's try just a single m one more time with a single one. Come on. Ah, close enough. Let's just use the normal. There we go. Now I'm up. So, that's Fire Leap, and you can use it actually. It's pretty cool. Woo! 
And I'm gonna die. Well. Yeah, fire leap, everybody. Fire leap. Seven mana. So it's a little bit expensive. But you also, that's because you leap and you get all those um, effects. Now, regen. Um, let me just lose some health. How can I actually do that? Let me, let me, I know how to do that. So let's do this. As you can see now, oh, I'm near death. So, if I now throw my regen, I'm gonna get healed. So, I'm gonna get a pretty fun, powerful regeneration for just a, a short second. So, I think it's four seconds or something, three. Um, I'm also gonna get a saturation f that heals my hunger bar for about one second, so we'll get full hunger. This, of course, costs a little bit more, so that's ten mana. So, maybe a bit too l I should maybe increase the mana. But as you can see, my man is slowly regening. Now, with a mist. That's one of the coolest. So, I'm gonna use my dummies here. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot that. I'm not in creative anymore. Poop, poop, poop. Let's regen. Okay. So, let's quickly hop into them. Oh shit. Okay, let's do it from here because. Bam! Well, I'm gonna make you give you a better demonstration. But right now, they actually get a wither effect. And um, one of them died, and two of them died. They couldn't handle it. So, let's quickly just um, do something so it's easier to see. So, let's get a few picks. Let's see that. Good. So, if I'm here with the picks, I use this. As you can see here, sand comes, a uh, mist, a black mist comes, and they all get withered and dies. That's the Wither Mist, cost 7, so it's actually, that should actually probably cost 10, because it's actually extremely powerful. Um, but, yeah, <coughs> now, to the Meteor, so let's get some dummies, so let's, let's actually get more than one. So, Magnus, meet Magnus, Revy, meet Revy, Revy, meet Magnus, Magnus, meet Revy, yeah, so on and so forth. So, what I got here is um, Meteor. So what that does is it sends down a meteor, a fireball, but this fireball is not just an ordinary fireball. It got a higher um, strength explosion, so it's gonna create more fi fire. Um, I have mob grief off, off, s or false, so that means that um, it won't make a crater. The the um, fireballs, fireball and fire leap, they will create craters and all that, but um, I got. Because a fireball is um, seen as a mob attack because it is technically a gas ball, um, then when I turn mob grief off, uh, they won't do anything other than um, do damage and create fire. But they can't destroy any blocks. So, so what this does here, meteor, I'm just gonna throw it. I get a speed boost to run away, and an epic explosion comes. So you saw that three of them died. Um, Magnus over here was too far away, he wasn't in the radius, so he survived, but not for that long. He did. So let's try to see it without um, flying away. Did you see it? I hope you saw it. But um, yeah, there came a fireball, let's just do one last time. As you can see that, BAM! It all falls down, I think it's actually 50 blocks above you it starts, and then falls down. But that's fireball. Then we got ice shield. I need um actually it's a pretty good idea to be in to just get that fire away most of it. So if we just get Magnus here, he's gonna get angry at me. He wanna shoot me, so I'm gonna make a shield. Oh fuck. Damn it, I'm outside the shield. He created a whole Okay, let's create another one. Am I what? No! Why did my shield go? Okay. Um, this is bad. This is bad. This is really bad. I don't got enough for doom. Enough for mana for doom. Okay. Okay, die. Evil demon from the south. Will you just please die, Magnus? There we go. I survived. <laughs> yeah, I survived. Um, just go. Oh, I wasn't in the winter. So let me 
show you that in a more appropriate way. So what Ice Shield does is if you just stand in the center of a block, that's pretty important. When you then throw this, uh, Ice Shield will encase you in for a little time. Um, if you're outside the shield, it won't actually destroy the shield because it destroys the blocks relative to you. So yeah, so if you so it's just gonna destroy uh, blocks if you're not inside the shield. But that's ice shield, um, cost 5 mana, it's not that powerful, that's why it's so cheap. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna stand in here to the time is gone. Oh, there we go. So, the last one, do. But that does, um, let me show you. I can actually... Being survived. Let's actually get some pick dummies because that is e that's easier. They ain't gonna shoot me and all that. Like stupid Ravi and Red Magnus. Needless said my own name. Um, what's well this? Cost a lot. And why? Because um, it gives me an resistant effect, so I'm gonna survive it no matter what. And it's much stronger than Meteor. So Doom is like a Meteor, but double the strength. And I'm gonna survive it, no matter what. So, here goes, piggies. <laughs> ah! Fuck! Well, now I'm gonna getting hurt, but I didn't take damage off the <laughs> from the explosion. As you can see, there's fire everywhere. Let's just use some fire leap to get out of here. There we go. And <sighs> regen up. There we go. So yeah, no piggies once was given that time. There we go. Where's the fire's gone now? So yeah. That's my magic. In a nutshell. Oh man, he survived. Come here. There he is. He's dead. So, now I'm gonna show you the redstone. This is gonna be a long video. Well, I'm just gonna do this very quickly. Um, this t this lever turns it on, so I get all my magic, and I'm going to turn it off. I it removes. The, this is the command box. They just give me the different things with the um, different names. There you go. You can see it in the chat down there how uh, how the command is. Um, and this just clears it. That's easy enough to see. Um, when I hit this switch, it starts a clock over here. That's gonna constantly give me one mana in the scoreboard. And this one is gonna test for if I get 100 mana. If I hit 100 mana, it's gonna turn off the clock as long as I get 100 mana. It's not gonna turn off again this uh, signal to turn that clock off. Well, when I also hit this, I turn on a clock right here that um, sends a pulse 20 times a second. That's extremely fast. So um, 20 times a second, all these command blocks down here gets a uh, signal. So what this does is, um, this one, a test for if there's a blaze uh, powder. Well, let me just classify the areas. These small things here, from the iron block here to the command block right here. And just these two by... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Um, they, um, these small run ones here, um, they test for if the item is, if you're throwing the item, if you got enough mana and it secures that the item is gonna get killed like this spawn and it's gonna give you a new one that's what this part does so this this command block here checks test for if you if you got three mana this one tests for if you're thrown the I item if you have thrown the item it's gonna um, kill it so it's the despawns and it's gonna give you a new one of the exact same <laughs> Then it's gonna send a signal to this that's gonna allow the signal for from this comparator to go through to the magic over here. But if this isn't on because you don't got enough mana, if you don't got got if you got below three mana, this will be off and when the piston then goes down there won't go any signal through. That's how I secure that. Um, and if you got enough mana will then send a signal here and do some different things so it's gonna create a fireball summon fireball five blocks above explosion power one direction zero 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 so it's just gonna stand still then um, up here it's gonna take three mana from me <coughs> I 
excuse me. Once you go after it's done those two commands, it's just gonna TP the fireball to my feet because that's where it's teleport them. Then it's gonna uh, just at the exact same time, it's also gonna TP the fireball one block up, so it's gonna be inside my head. So I can just move to right or left or wherever I want it to be. I'm not gonna explain all these uh, magic, but um, this does the exact same, just test for the item, gives you a new one, test for if you get enough mana. Um, this one is a bit special, it um, gives you some fire resistance, that's ID 12 for 10 seconds, power 1, and the particles, you can see the particles. It's also gonna remove 10 7 mana. It's gonna create, a summon a fireball um, that goes very slowly downwards, 5 blocks above it. And it's also gonna give me another thing that's resistant for 3 seconds, power 11, and p high particles, true. Um, and it's so gonna summon two of these fireballs that's going slightly down. One take after all these <laughs> 4 command blocks have get triggered, uh, it's gonna TP the fireballs to me. And what that does, it's these fireballs is going downwards, so when they get teleported to my feet, they're gonna hit the ground instantly, and then they're gonna explode. That's why I'm flying upwards and they're coming fire, because they're exploding under my feet. Then we're at the regen one, that's the most simple one, it just takes 10 mana from me, it gives me some regeneration, um, power 101 for 3 seconds, and gives me some um, saturation for 1 second, power 101, and that also hides the particles. Okay, I'm gonna explain them all because it's so neat, but I've already explained these small system here, they all do, do the same just with different items. So just know that. So what the Wither Mist? Well, it's first uh, execute a command at me, and what the command is, it ex executes, that's uh, effect all entities in a radius of 4 um, from me. Um, with uh, and it's ID 20, that's wither effect pa <laughs> for 10 seconds and um, a power 10. And it also takes the mana, it um, plays the wither, the mob that wither that shoot sound all players. Blah blah blah. I didn't want to do it very that complicated. Uh, volume 1, pitch 0, and minimum value 0. Um, and then I also just do a lot of uh, things, so it gives me a stronger wither effect, but for shorter time, so I'm not gonna get that hardly, hardly bad uh, or hurt. It's gonna regen my health with some regen. It's gonna um, create some particles effects that's gonna spread for every two ticks. And that's the wither effect. Okay, now to the meteor. Gonna create or oh, summon a fireball 30 blocks above here um, with an explosion power of 5. That's pretty powerful. And it goes uh, and you got a downwards um, thing of minus 4. And I'm gonna remove the mana. And TP the fireball to my feet. And at the, six same, at the, end, at the exact same time, it's actually gonna um, TP it 50 blocks above me. Um, then it's also gonna give me a speed effect for, f um, for two seconds so I can run away f when I w run away from the explosion. The ice shield is really simple, it just clones this thing here in uh, over to me so I'm inside it if I stand still and, in the, and if I am in the center of a block. And um, then after all these ticks here it's gonna then remove all the ice, only the ice, it's gonna replace ice with air. To Doom, that's actually the exact same of this one, it's just actually um, two different things. One, it has a power of 10. Two, it's gonna give me a resistance effect and not a, um, not a, a speed effect, so I'm actually a resistance effect of 11, so it's not gonna kill me. And that's actually all the magic. So if you understood that, um, great! You know your knowledge about redstone and commands. So, <coughs> just for the last time, I'm just gonna hit those. Oh yeah, I got this command from right here, as you can see here. Um, from 
Dragnals, I'm going to probably link his um, channel in the description because he's an awesome guy. So I got the commands to create these skeleton dummies here from him. And um, let me just kill them as last time because I love killing them. Let's do with Doom because that's the coolest one. Doom is coming. God damn it, what did I do? Oh, I don't got, got enough mana. Scoreboard, objectives. No, not the objectives. Uh, players, sets, resume safe way, mana, 100. There we go. <coughs> oh, I got 101. That's a little glitch. Well, there we go. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. Rasmus, a oh, what? Ah!